Hi guys, welcome back to another matchday vlog. Welcome back to Irish Footy vlog. St. Patrick's Athletic and Shamrock Rovers at Richmond Park this Monday. A rescheduled game. Um, obviously, both teams played on Friday. Shamrock Rovers won 1 0 at home to Bohemians. And Pats had a 2 2 draw in Bally Buffet against Finn Harps. Real opportunity. Why is he hiding again? Real opportunity for. Um, he keeps hiding in the latest videos. Real opportunity for Shamrock Rovers to go 10 points clear here, despite the fact that Dundalk would have two games in the hand. But, um, you know, having the points on the board is always better than games in hand. That's an absolute fact. Um, Pats, three points clear. Sligo in the table in, in fourth place. Sligo in fifth place. Um, Pats had a real opportunity, to be honest, to go five clear on Friday. But um, they obviously fluffed it, let's be honest about it. So there's a bit of pressure on Pats, I think, coming into this game now. Because it could have been an element of a free hit had they beaten Van Arps on Friday, in which they didn't. But, um, you know, they did beat Shamrock Rovers 1-0 thanks to Chris Forrester header last time they met at Richmond Park. And they're going to have to almost summons that energy into the game. Rovers don't look as fluent without uh, particularly Byrne and even Graham Burke, I have to say. It takes away a little bit from their play. And although they won against Bowes on Friday, it wasn't very impressive. And they've looked, they haven't really been creating an awful lot of chances, to be honest with you, in their games. Um Pats did play very well for 80 minutes, but there's just something missing there. Now, they are a work in progress, to be fair, Pats, particularly after what happened last year with O'Donnell and that. Um, you know, it's no surprise in the players they lost and the leaders they lost that they're a work in progress, but they'd be very disappointed the way they threw away that lead on Friday. But promises to be an interesting uh, derby at Richmond Park, and uh, there was a bit of bite between Bowes and Rovers. I'm hoping to see a bit of bite here today as well. Uh, Billy, what are you calling it? Predict, please. I think Shamrock Rovers are going to win 2 0. That's interesting because Billy got his last two predictions right in the vlog, so see if he's right here. Uh, we'll see you at Richmond Park, guys. <laughs> says it all about Go! 
chance. Red, red. Hey lads, what did you think of the game? Uh, it was bad enough now, but well, he scored a goal, but grand. He's your favourite Pats players. I, I, I think, I think that. I think that Rovers are just better. Yeah, they're good the side, aren't they? Rovers are just champions and the best best team in Ireland. Yeah. Sure about that. Yeah, hundred percent. I need to get you on the show to do a bit of analyst I'm work. Definitely, I'm definitely not a Rovers fan, but still the best, <laughs> best in Ireland. Rowan Finn, give, give me his armband. Fair for they lads. Look, brilliant stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so guys, it obviously finished a Richmond Park, St. Patrick's Athletic 1, Shamrock Rovers 2. Yeah, um, where do you start, I suppose? First half, I thought, was pretty even in the game. I thought both sides um, didn't create too many opportunities. Um, not that it was a bad game, just a kind of an even game. I think Rovers flashed a few balls across the area, which caused problems for Pats. Um, Pats had a chance with Billy King. Um, possibly could have scored um, another opportunity where Owen Doyle was kind of true and he could have played at the Burns but instead cut a half shot and it went straight into Manus so the first half I think if you're a Pats you're happy enough at half time actually nil nil but in the second half as soon as Rovers score you felt the heads dropped a little bit with Pats and obviously the first goal was scored by by Andy Lyons and uh, he caused problems all all evening to be honest Um put Scott let's say under a lot, a lot of pressure in the game um, and he scored he scored uh, to give Rovers the lead Aaron Green then scores a second and how he scores I don't know um, he does very well to be fair to him but I mean he gets around the player very comfortably let's say and um, cuts inside and uh, gets in and scores at the keepers near post more or less uh, it's a goal that shouldn't happen to be honest Green Fair play to him, though. he he done what he could do and scored it. And ultimately, Rovers were comfortable enough at that point. Tunde came on for Pats and caused some problems. Um, he probably sh he definitely should have scored, though, when the shot was cleared off the line. I think it was open on the left, to be fair. Um, but then he wins a penalty and Owen Doyle dispatches it late in the game. Ultimately, Rovers were out the likes of Jack Byrne. Burke came on. Didn't Burke come on? He came on yeah, Graham Brook and Danny Mandrew didn't play so they'd be delighted to come to Pats and get the three points. They got 10 clear at the top of the table. Yes, Dundalk have two games in hand. Are Dundalk going to win those two games in hand? That's the question. So it's a great result for Rovers in that sense, I think, to be fair. For Pats, they're still fourth. Uh, eight defeats this season. Um, you know, let's be honest though, they're lacking a lot of quality compared to last year and be interesting to see what they can do in the window. Hopefully they bring in players of quality of no doubt they're bringing players but it needs to be the right players um I suppose what do you think quickly of the game Billy okay, before I we thought, go I thought it was 50-50 in the first half like there mm. was a few chances but they just mm. couldn't um, take care of them really a <laughs> uh, second half Shamrock Rovers after they scored the first goal coming closer go on <laughs> they um very dark dom they yep. dominated then after the first goal and then second goal, you just knew it was over. Then last minute, it ruined my dreams. <laughs> I know. I went to the scores in like the last minute, and my prediction was wrong then. Very close though. That's three weeks in a row. Well, you got the, la the, the last two games, you got 100% right. And you could say this was 95% right. <laughs> two nearly predicted 2-1. So you're not far off the mark, I can tell you. <laughs> Guys, let us know what you think of the comments. Let us know what you think of the games. Any talking points, anything you want to mention about the game. Um, what else? Like the video, subscribe if you're new and hit your bell notification button so you don't miss a video. Thanks once again for watching guys.